You know, one of the reasons I missed out on shooting a lot of great fall autumn colors this year was because I didn't want to drive three hours north. That's a, that's a large commitment. That's six hours of driving just to get some photos of leaves and, and beautiful fall colors when you can find stuff close to home. So I was on Google, I was, uh, was Googling the old internet the other day thinking like, where can I go to just like maybe squeeze the last of fall? Where everything just goes white. So I looked up north Algonquin Park and it was covered in snow, which also makes me excited because maybe I can go up there and get snow shots early. Needless to say, it's a long drive to just not know. So I figured why not just take a helicopter instead? That's the short story of it. I think my ride is here, folks. Woohoo! Look at this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Chris Nicholas. Oh, hey, buddy. Nice to see you again. <laughs> I think you're probably the first person to ever ride a one wheel on this airport. Really? Yeah, 100% I am. Hey, I, I, I did that yesterday on Toronto Island. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person to ever ride a one wheel on the tarmac. Much there. better view. Much better view. <laughs> this is nice in a country sort of way. Yeah, man. Yeah. How Good you been? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, likewise. What a great ride to get. Just chilling. This dude over here was walking by and he's like, is that, is that your ride? And I was like, yeah, dude. Just, just. Tell, just tell just played it off so casual, like, yeah. yeah just tell me what's your first one. Of course, yeah. I gotta get to Algonquin and I'm not, I'm not driving. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, man. Let's get yeah, some fuel. Let's do it. Okay, because space is a little limited, I don't want to, and I'm like seven feet tall, I don't want to uh, have this at my feet. So I'm going to, I'll give you the 7200. I'll stick that. It's not gonna roll around, is it? Nah, you'll be all right. it's fine. Thought it was gonna be overcast today. It's most definitely not overcast. It's like the sunniest day I've seen in actually in weeks. It's been raining and it's been awful, but it's a beautiful day. It doesn't make it that easy to get nice footage when it's just beating down on whatever you're trying to film. But I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about it. Hall any traffic. Up this helicopter, November 300, Whiskey Zulu running up next to the pumps. We'll be taxiing to runway 08 for a northbound departure on landing. The, uh, the first thing, the first thing I'll tell you is being like 6'3", because I think, I think I'm 6'3", I uh, might be 6'4", but I'm pretty sure I'm 6'3". Uh, it's hard to get out of a helicopter that's very small like that. That's, uh, that's, that's the first thing. The second thing, the second thing is Chris made a particular custom stop for me uh, here way up north in cottage country just so that we could have uh, we could have a coffee together My confession is that I don't really drink that coffee that much. What? I know. I know it's awesome oh, right, That's Becky's but thing she, isn't Becky it? Becky. I say Becky make it like a kid's drink and she makes <laughs> these like super sweet lattes <laughs> hey, There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I appreciate people that don't like coffee. It's not for everybody uh, But yeah, you steam a lot of milk put a lot of sugar in it and hope for the best and it's a lot more tolerable for those that don't like it I don't think I've properly introduced you guys to Chris before. I just kind of said like, hey, he's a friend of mine. Chris is one of two parts of a YouTube channel called Becky and Chris. And when I get asked, which I get asked a lot, who are your favorite YouTubers? Becky and Chris are amongst the very top. Even when I get flown around the world to do little talks for different groups and give my opinion on YouTube and stuff like that, I get asked that question during like Q&A portions. Who are your favorite YouTubers? I often say, Becky and Chris are one of the accounts that I hope everybody goes and checks out. Really more than 50% of our channel is my wife, Becky. Yeah. She's the brains behind it all. I just kind of, I do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no coffee connoisseur, but it's not the best latte art.
Okay, lunch was great. Even though we didn't have it, we just had coffee. We actually got our lunch to go. Chris wants to have a picnic on an island somewhere, so his plan is to land the chopper somewhere obscure, and then we're going to eat our sandwiches at said obscure location. That's, that's secure? Yeah, okay. right there, okay. We're taking off now to go somewhere else, so I will see you when we land, and we'll talk about more things and eat, and the vlog will continue as planned. See you there. Just a beautiful day of having a great time. I'm sorry if I'm shouting, I just feel like it's the right thing to do based on the current situation. What a sunny day this is, wow. So I think we found our place for lunch. Right ahead there. Tail rotor okay? Tail rotor is okay. Feels a little better. I'm gonna look. Uh, I'm still teetering. You got no ground under your uh, left skid here. There's literally gotta be a spot that we can put. The grass is probably too much. How difficult is this to find a spot to <laughs> land? I think we may have just picked the wrong rock. Okay, let's try this rock over here. It is good, tail rotor is good. All right, dude, I think this is as good as it could get. Not a pretty landing, and it doesn't like, it's not like composed nicely. But we did it. But we did it. You did it, I did nothing. You help, man, you were checking my tail rotor. Well, when Chris said he wanted to land on a remote island in the middle of a lake in the middle of nowhere in Northern Ontario, I'm pretty sure this is exactly what he had planned and that's exactly where we are in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Super, super awesome. Not every day you can just get picked up by a friend in a helicopter, land it on a rock and have lunch. So sick. Check out this from a different view. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, 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 for the record. Been a little too nice for y'all. Now I got a up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. All right, now that we got some drone footage out of the way, tried to channel my inner Sam Colder there. So if you're watching, buddy, did that one for you. Uh, I was very, very frightened because I didn't want to hit the helicopter. But now it's time for lunch, and I think it should still be where we left it. Ah, Chris, it's still here. Now we just got to find a fun place to eat sandwiches. I think that uh, lunch and the tail rotor thing will pass if I cut it together properly. Oh, definitely. There are people who are going to believe that we left it next to the tail rotor like that. <laughs> uh, in real life, that would be incredibly dangerous, so don't ever do that at home. Yeah, don't don't put anything on a tail rotor. <laughs> we, we faked it. <laughs> <laughs> Vlog life. Vlog life. What a beautiful day for this, too. Sun setting. Listen to the waves come in. Remote island, middle of nowhere, accessed only by helicopter. Yes, please. Mm. Spoiler alert. Oh, what's that? What's going on down here? That's a. Uh, <gasps> that's for another video. Super fun time. I think it's time to leave. Sun's getting low, and we got to get back, and he's got to get back to Buffalo before like five o'clock. But the overall theme of this vlog, I mean, there wasn't really a theme, but if I had to find one for you, and I had to kind of put the period at the end of the sentence, it would be that persistence is key with everything and sometimes when it comes to creating content and making videos you don't need it doesn't come down how do i get back let me get over here it doesn't always come down to how much money you can make or what do you get from it what benefit do you get from it the benefit you get from it is being able to just make videos and have fun have fun and have a good time and do what you love and just make stuff that's the fun that's the benefit 
here you have a couple, Becky and Chris, that make great videos and do lots of fun stuff on their channel. They don't monetize anything, they don't even get paid from it. They're just making videos because they enjoy making videos. It's not necessarily about a business aspect or quitting the nine to five. It's just a passion that they have and it's a place to share that passion. So she and I are in a bit of a unique situation where she's unable to work for anybody except for her current employer, um, which means that we can't monetize our channel. And initially, well, her take on it is she feels like she may be missing out a little bit, but I kind of think it's refreshing. We can just generate content, do whatever we want, and don't really have to don't really have to answer to anybody except for ourselves. And that's kind of what I like to do. In the end of the day, we're just making content that we like to make. And we started off because we wanted to have a uh, a timeline uh, of our lives, starting from when we moved to Vancouver back in 2016. And then we just kept going with it. And we've just been making weekly videos documenting our life. And I really like the idea of being able to look back on that timeline and have those memories. And in the end of the day, we always think if as long as we're authentic and make content for ourselves, then you can't go wrong. That's yeah. pretty much it. It doesn't always come down to money and trying to get ad revenue and trying to get sponsors. For us, we just like making fun content and that's what it's all about for us. Who's to say, you know, in the future we, we may end up monetizing, but at this point in our lives, we're just doing it for fun. I love that, love that. Creating videos because you just love creating videos. Nothing else to it, very black and white. Okay, goodbye little rock island. Ugh. I enjoyed eating lunch on you. All right, we are uh, up, up, and away. Headed back home. All right, gonna see if I can remote start my truck from here. I think it worked. Did it work? It. It's on. Ah. Look at that service. Oh, hey. Bye, Chris. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Woo!